the first thing you do is you uh, put on a diaper. Then you put on some, just some regular long underwear. Then you put on a liquid cooling and ventilation garment, which is a, sort of a one piece, almost like a flight suit, but it has small tubes sewn into it. Um, <clears throat> those tubes are used to keep your body at a normal temperature because it can get pretty hot in there. You're working hard and there's no way for the heat to get out. And so these, uh, these tubes flow water past your body and, and sort of keep it um, comfortable. Once that's on, then you go put on the pants and shoes together. Then you waddle over to the hard upper torso, which is um, sort of stuck to a wall, so it's, it's immobile. And you go underneath it, and you sort of stick your hands and your head through the holes. Then you close what they call the, uh, the waist uh, enclosure. And then you put on gloves, and you have some locks there. And then you finally put on the helmet, and you pressurize the suit. The neutral buoyancy lab, the pool, is where we do the training that, ha that teaches us how to move around in the suit. So even though you have a water, which is not quite realistic because it's more viscous than vacuum, obviously, and, and there's some other, uh, I'll say, limitations, um, it's really a great medium in which to practice these things because you really are sort of weightless. So uh, it's just through these five to ten training sessions that we do for every spacewalk where you get to learn what it's going to be like in space. And you never really quite get there, but you know you get a pretty good feeling with it. So. They call it space walk, but you don't really walk. You use your hands to move along translation paths, handrails, basically, to move from one place to another. You, you figure out how much force do I need to get started and how much force do I need to stop. Um, if I want to go up there, you know, how do I get there? What body positions do I need? All that stuff is done in the three-dimensional world that you can do in space and you can do in the neutral buoyancy lab as well.